Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain about one very important loop in logical programming. Is what while loop. What is the advantage of loop control statement? Means that is used to execute a block of instructions repeatedly. How many times it will repeat means what? As long as the specified condition is true. Here in most of the logical programmings, right, we are using that while loop. So, in this video, I am going to explain what is the syntax and what is that workflow of a while loop. Here, the syntax of while loop is just like if block only. While is a keyword in most of the programming languages, so starts with a W. While and followed by the condition what you want to specify to execute this loop we are writing and inside this while loop here it is a block of statements execute block of statements execute this is this is the block and here suppose if you are not specifying that block we are writing while loop while loop and here it is we mentioned that condition, condition and here it is without block. Suppose if you are writing a number of statements, statement 1, statement 2, statement 3 like this we have written. Only the first statement come into that while loop. Only that first statement comes. This is a loop statement. Only this statement gets executed. And these statements considered as outside statements to loop, outer statements to loop, this is. So, this is generally that syntax and how it will consider whenever we are not specifying the block, right. If you are not specifying the block, it will not give any error message, but only the first statement it will consider as a while loop statement and remaining statements considered as outside to that while loop statement, while loop. Now, here it is what is the workflow and how it will execute the flow chart, see. Here, so what is that workflow, how it will execute? We start with the terminal start, start and here it is first it will check the condition. The conditions we are representing, we are representing with a rhombus is a condition and we know that for every condition we have two options first if it is a true then if it is true then what all the statements you defined inside the block gets executed so here here it is that processing is nothing but what all the statements we defined inside the block executed after that it will not terminate here again it will go and check the condition if the condition is true, again it will go inside and it will execute that statements and again it will repeat. So, this process will continue as long as the specified condition is true. So, that is what we call a loop iterations and when it will terminate means what? Only when the specified condition has failed. If this condition has failed, then it will come to end then it will come to end. This is the workflow. After checking the condition, it will execute the block. After executing the block, again it will repeat that loop with the condition. As long as the given condition is true, it will execute. When it will terminate means whenever the specified condition has failed, then it will terminate automatically. Right? So, this is what is the syntax and workflow, the flowchart of while loop. Right, based on this while loop, right, the logical programming I am going to explain in the coming videos. Please keep watching all the videos and improve your logical skills. Thank you all.